We're here with another interesting fastener basic. Today, Aaron, we're going to talk about proper length measurement on a hex head cap screw or a bolt. There are five basic measurements that you need to know. Yep. Covered in ASME B18.2.1. Correct. Um, the first one we'll talk about is the overall length. Correct. And how to actually measure that. So that's going to be from the bearing surface all the way to the end of the bolt or screw. Correct. In this case, that's underneath the head. Yep. And then you have LB. Okay. Or body length, right? Body length. So LB, again, from the bearing surface, in this case, underneath the head, to the full diameter of the body and where that full diameter of the body begins to taper off. Yep. So full body diameter, the length of that. Yep. That's a, and that little space right in between there, that's a transition length. Correct. Right, which then leads us into the grip length, which grip length is LG on our little chart here. Right. And that is noting the maximum material that you can actually use that screw or bolt in. Maximum thickness of material. Yep. So the way they measure that is they run a thread gauge as far as it will go. And then they will measure the distance between the end of the thread gauge or the flat of the thread gauge against the bearing surface. That distance is your LG length grip. Now there is a transition in between here and that's the difference between your LB body length and your LG grip length. Which is a reference dimension. That is correct. Right, and then the last one we have left over, what is it? Thread length. Thread length. So that is a leftover. So LB, LG are your primaries. The thread length is your leftover proper way to measure the length of a hex head cap screw or a bolt.